How to Build a Humane Mousetrap, today on Dungeon Craft. Welcome to Dungeon Craft, a channel about playing the ultimate game of D&D and creating cool terrain out of XPS polystyrene. But today we're going to use this insulation foam for something different, making a mousetrap. You see, our Dungeon Craft set is not really in a dungeon, it's in an attic, and I share the space with my daughter whose room is located right over there. And she's been having trouble sleeping the last few nights because she's hearing the pitter-patter of little feet in the crawl space behind the walls of her room. So I installed an infrared camera and discovered we have a few critters living there. Now I don't have the heart to kill these mice, so we're gonna create a humane mouse trap today out of simple objects like XPS insulation foam, bottles, straws, clothespins, and a glue gun. Now if you don't have XPS, that's totally cool. I'll give you some alternatives. Let's get to the table and I'll show you how it's done. Here's the trap. The base is made of XPS insulation foam available at any Lowe's or Home Depot. You can always use a wood board, but the foam is much lighter. You can also carve it into stairs, which makes it easier for the mouse to make his way up to the bottle. Once there, he wiggles his way inside to eat the peanut butter, and his weight tilts the bottle downward, trapping him. Okay, this is what we need to make our trap. A small soda bottle, pink insulation foam, I use both the one inch and half inch thick varieties, a pencil and a utility knife, and we'll use some clothes pins and a straw later on. I have this spare piece of half inch foam and I cut out a base 14 inches long and 5 inches wide. Make sure to use a metal ruler to prevent slippage. I balance the bottle on the pencil to see where to cut the holes and where to place my clothes pins. You want the holes to be slightly toward the opening of the bottle, so it'll make the back end heavier so it tilts backwards. I secure the clothes pins into the foam with hot glue. You want them to be just slightly wider than the bottle itself. For the axle I use a plastic straw, but a barbecue skewer works well too. On this show you've seen me make stairs before, but we're going to cut out a, a four inch block. And it's going to be two inches high. And we're going to use this to make our staircase. I want the landing on top to be about an inch and a half. That's going to be the top step. And then we can go down at an angle. And that'll be the bottom step. There we go. And we can just carve steps into here by going like that. I'll carve out the rest of the steps and carve an exact double and attach them so the staircase is two inches wide. We want it to be large enough so the mouse finds it and doesn't fall off. I had to fiddle around a little bit to get the holes right, but there we go. Last little piece here I have is this. This is going to go on the bottom. And we're going to glue it up. Glue it in place like that. One of the reasons I like tacky glue is because you can still shift the styrofoam around into the position you want and keep carving it until it's going to do this and block the mouse's escape. Time to bait our trap. Here is a tasty mouse treat. It is a piece of popcorn smothered in peanut butter and we just push it in there, remove the straw and we have baited our trap. So it's the next day and what this guy apparently did was wiggle his way out by going back and forth on the bottle. So what I have to do is give this less space so we'll add another lip in here. And another one, oh, that's much better. Another one over here. Uh, that's much tougher. All right, and you can see his little claw marks there. So I'm gonna add this piece of wood. You could use a popsicle stick like this to right here. Add more peanut butter and we'll see how it works out.
Just tilt the trap upward, screw on a bottle cap, and he won't be able to escape. Don't worry, he hasn't been harmed in any way, and he's having a good time eating his popcorn in there, but I'm going to set him free because I just care about all God's creatures. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Questions or comments, put them below. Also below, you'll find links to our Facebook group and Patreon, and you should find more videos about D&D and crafting over here. Once again for Dungeon Craft, I'm Professor Dungeon Master. On behalf of my furry friend and I... Happy gaming. I'll see you next week, and until then, may all your rolls be 20s.